Hello and welcome to another episode of Keeves Customs. Uh, today we're back in the barn working on the Mark II and it's time for the rear disc conversion. Uh, just let you into a little secret. I've already done the conversion but what I have done is now taken everything apart so I can show you guys what's involved. This is not so much a how-to as more of a what I did. First of all, what don't you need? Well, there it is right there. You don't need any of that. So basically, once you've got the car up on the axle stands, remove the road wheel and just start dismantling. Get rid of all of that. The drums, the backing plates, the shoes, it's all got to go. Same as the handbrake assembly, because the one that comes with the kit is completely different. Um, so just start taking it all away. Now, once you've got the half shafts out, that's when you can take those backing plates off, okay? So, this is what it looks like when you get to that stage. Now, these brackets which come with the kit, this is a bolt-on kit, you'll see that this side is flat, on the reverse it's rebated. It's very important that you get the rebated side towards the diff in the center, because if you don't, when you bolt it all together, the caliper won't line up with the disc and it's yeah it just won't work so you've got to make sure you get it on the right way around now depending on which kit you get they also refer to some machining of the half shaft required well I'm going to show you what they mean by that and what they mean is this round here that needs to be narrowed otherwise the top hat part of the disc won't fit over this this in its standard form is too wide for that to go over. So what I did was I took the half shafts and the disc to the local machine shop and I got him to turn this down so that that would fit correctly. Okay, now once that's done, another point to note is, is at this stage, if you're gonna change your wheel bearings, guys, do it now, okay? For what they cost, just do it, I have, because then you know that you're not gonna be taking it apart again in six months time or whatever because you've got a noisy wheel bearing. Okay, so that's it for this side. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you round and basically you'll be able to see there, look, is my new brake pipe cable. All the old cables, uh, uh, brake pipe, I mean, uh, all the old pipes are useless. You can't use them at all. You need to make new ones. And up under there, you can't quite see it, is a T-piece. Because as you will know, with drum brakes, there it is there, look. With drum brakes, one pipe goes into one side and then another pipe comes out and goes back across to the other side of the car. That's no good in this application. You need that T-piece there to split the pipes, okay? So it's not a really, really difficult job, but there is more to it than just unbolting one lot and bolting a new lot back on. So this side, this is the driver's side, obviously. That's how it looks when it's complete. Now, the only thing missing from this that I haven't done so far is I haven't put any of the new handbrake cable assembly in which comes into the top of here and then it hooks up um, and then goes along to the front of the car and attaches to the handbrake underneath the car. Now, I can't stress enough, when you do this, make sure everything is torqued up to the correct specifications. This is brakes we're talking about, guys. Nothing to, you can't do it half assed You've got to get it right, or if you can't do it, get somebody in who knows what they're doing um, because you, you just don't want these failing on you. Um, so with that, I think we'll call it a day. It was just a video to show you how I'm getting on. And as you can see, we're coming on leaps and bounds. Um, I have put links in the description below. This is an English axle kit from Burton. You can get them from Atlas. There are other, other kits out there available. Some are bolt on, some are weld on. It really depends on what you want. Um, but please do like, like and subscribe and share this video. And take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.